Have you experienced this before? You go on a hunt or not even a hunt. You went out to gather some materials and you start to hear that as you look behind, you see this annoying mosquito then stings you, leaving you paralyzed on the ground. Isn't that bug annoying? But what if I tell you, back in the old world, the guild asks you to hunt down not just the small Vespoids, but also their giant queen. 14 years ago, after completing a few G rank quests, also known as master rank quests, I've thought of upgrading the longsword my friend recommended to me. So this longsword is called the Lost Black Katana. Besides how I like the look of the weapon, it has decent raw, 20% affinity, 10 bonus defense, and natural purple sharpness with 2 slots. It's pretty good. Anyhow, as soon as I was about to upgrade my weapon, I had everything that I need except for one thing. The Queen Vespoid's Crown. Then, I remembered there was a quest on high rank with the Queen Vespoid. So, I should be able to get the missing part there right and because of that i began the quest it was daytime in the jungle i started searching around the map and i couldn't find her luckily i saw the balloon i then waved my hand to find where she was and the balloon pointed out that the queen was in the middle of the jungle map i then followed where she was as i went inside the cave she wasn't there and i was just greeted by the conga at that point, I felt tired of searching for the Vestpoid Queen, so I decided to abandon the quest. A few days later, me and my friends were chilling inside the guild hall. So, how was your last hunt? I told my friend what happened during my last quest. He said, Bro, have you ever tried killing the Vestpoid? With that realization, I asked them if they could help me out. So we went on a quest together. As the quest begins, this was our plan. The three of us will split up and kill each of the Vespoids all around the jungle map. The goal was to lure out the Queen Vespoid after killing her servants. We have to kill roughly 20 to 25 Vespoids for this plan to work. After we have roamed the entire map and killed each of the Vespoid on our site, Inside the cave, a shadow appeared from the sky. The queen finally descends for her allies. During the hunt, the queen Vespoid does these moves. Just like any other monster, the queen Vespoid charges at you. Another thing that it can do is it summons a crap ton of Vespoids to assist her. It also has this huge stinger that you definitely want to avoid. Because what would happen here if you didn't avoid it? It has this spray attack that not only lowers your defense, but it turns every Vespoid in the area super aggressive on you. Why is your lance boat rotating? Hunters, ready, go! Nice! We managed to beat the Queen Vespoid. As I got my rewards, you have a nice looking lens. Hopefully I get the crown. Let's go. It's here. Crown. Uh, guys, uh, I didn't get the crown. Uh, oh, are you serious? The wrong... Really? Yeah, I didn't get the crown. You can get that click from Trenya, bro. <laughs> Trenya scams me. Okay, I wasn't aware of this back then alright, so this time we went on a G-Rank quest. If I remember correctly, the drop rate for the crown is 50-50, and I just need 5 of those crowns. And if I manage to get those crowns, I can finally upgrade my longsword, which I only need for cutting monster tails. We are on the very first jungle of Monster Hunter. This is the old jungle map, also known as the Rainforest. I don't know how you feel about this, but the trees on this jungle map literally blocks your vision. And it gets quite difficult when it comes to hunting monsters within those trees. And there's a bit of a fog too. But lucky for us, the Queen Vespoid isn't in here. 
Inside this small secluded area where the water flows, it's a perfect place for these monsters to swarm you to death. You know, besides hunting the Queen Vespoid, after a few generations, it's great to see how they introduced more giant insect monsters such as the Celtas, the Celtas Queen, and even this legendary mantis that I have yet to share with some time. I do wish we get to see more of these giant insect monsters in the future of Monster Hunter games. Because as of this recording, we only have have like a few of them, especially the serpent type of monsters. Anyhow, after hunting down several Queen Vespoids, I managed to get enough crowns that I need. And finally, I was able to upgrade the longsword to its glorious final form. That's just beautiful. And then that's the last time I'll ever touch the weapon, till I need to cut some monster tails again. If you've made it this far, go follow my Twitter account. It's hard to post some announcements on YouTube, so yeah. Anyhow, if you haven't heard about the infamous barbecue spit story in the old world, check out this next video.